Chong Kuo De Gon Chong Chi Ni Hao. Sure, in the United States, people go to high school and that ends when they are 18 years old. At 18 years old, they might go to work, but if you're a technical person, if you want to go technical, you will go into either a technical program or an engineering program. Here's how the technical program works. You stay in school for two years and you learn about instruments, you learn about how to measure things, you learn about the kinds of devices that are out there, how to hook them together, generally how to use them. And after two years, then you become an associate, uh, you get an associate's degree in electrical engineering technology, and then you are called a technician. Now, if you stay on for two more years and you get a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering technology, then you are known as a technologist. On the other hand, if when you're 18, you go into an engineering program, this is a program that's based more on mathematics, more on physics, and that program takes four years. So when you graduate there, you have a Bachelor of Science of Electrical Engineering, and if you stay on to get a more advanced degree, then you would become a Master of Science in Electrical Engineering, and if you stay on beyond that, you can become a, have a PhD, a philosophy degree. That's when you're known as a Doctor of Electrical Engineering. Thank you. So what's happening in the, in the market is that it seems as though there are fewer and fewer people wishing to get into specialized fields of electrical engineering. And that's okay because the specialists are developing products that can be used by someone who is more a generalist. And so if you have a need to implement a radio frequency solution, that can be complicated. If you buy the individual chips and you design your printed circuit board, you have to know a lot in order to use an RF solution at the lowest level. But you can also today buy all of that capability in a module. So you can take an RF module and solder that to the board so it has the electronics, it has the antennas, it has the interface. So that's a simpler means of getting your project done. And then you can even buy at the board level. So what's happening here is that these little pieces of solutions are enabling people to make artificial intelligence, they're able to make IoT devices, they're able to do a whole range of products. And so in the past, a, a successful company made more and more of the same product, but in the future, people can find the individual pieces in order to make more custom products for whatever they want. And it turns out, rather than being an electrical engineer, it can be just as good to be a software engineer. So today, software engineers are specifying the electronics to use. So it's a broad market today, which is good for everyone, I think. So, Technical content consists of uh, helping a customer with a, a given problem. And there are times when we will answer a consultative question if somebody really doesn't know where to start. Whenever you talk to a salesperson at DigiKey, if you have a technical question, they can involve a technician to help answer uh, the question. But over time, we have gotten fewer and fewer one-to-one -one questions. And what we've been doing is to take the questions that we get and putting it online so that customers can search for the answers themselves. What they're able to do is to do a search in Baidu or any of the search engines and find the answer for themselves any time of day, seven days a week, any day of the year. And we find that that content that we're producing is getting more and more popular. So we're generating more and more of that as a general trend. So in the past decade, we used to do everything with telephone calls, we used to take email, and what's happening today is there is chat where an engineer types his question and another engineer answers it. 
Uh, but more importantly, it is people are finding the answers themselves. And the, the good thing about going to an online solution for an answer is that if you talk to one person and the answer is not perfect, if the person you've been talking to does not have deep experience in that topic, the answer might not be as thorough. But if you look online, if you look on a website for an answer, in that case, many people can see that answer. And so the quality of the answer can be much higher. Of course, you have to know whether you're looking at an expert's advice. So what DigiKey tries to do is to put the most qualified answers it knows to answer online so customers can serve themselves.